what's up guys you're welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to make a bell bottom pants so let's get started so first you start by folding your fabric into four places and then you leave at least one and a half inch inches on this edge and then you're folding your fabric on the stretchy part the next thing is to take the length of your pants and then you add three inches to it so for mine i have 39 inches and then i added three inches so i have 41 inch inches so on this edge we'll mark out two inches we'll mark out two inches You mark it down to the bottom of the pants. So I've marked out two inches. I'll roll the line so you can see. So we're going to start all our measurements from this line. And then you take your waist measurements. So it's your waist measurement divided by four. For mine, I have eight and a half. I'll mark it here. So we're not adding seam allowance to this because it's a stretchy fabric. So to get the hip measurement, I'll use nine inches. I'll mark it here. And then divide your hip measurement by four. I have 10 and a half. I'll mark it here. So I'll connect the lines from the hip down to this, from the waist down to the hip. And then for the crouch measurement, I'll use 12 inches or 13. I'll use 13 inches. I'll mark it here and then extend the line down. So I'll bring down the hip line down to this place and then use two inches I have left for my crouch extension. And then I'll draw the line here down. So I've taken my couch measurement with 13 inches. So on this line, I'll use one inch for the couch curve. And then I'll draw a curve line down to this place. Like so. I'll extend this line to the back piece. And then you take the measurement from your waist to right above your nails. So I have 20 inches. So it's from measurement from the waist to right above the nails. I'll mark it here. I've taken the measurement from here down to right above my nails. And then I have 20 inches. So you do the same for yours. And then you connect this line from the crotch down to this place. And then when you get to the nail area, you stop here and then you draw a, a slant line down to the end of the pants. So it's, it's like this. You stop at the nail point and then you draw the line down to this place. So you just take it down to the bottom of the pants. So next you take the measurement around your knee and then you divide that by two. So for mine, I have 17 inches and then I'll divide it by two. So I'll have eight and a half and then I'll mark it here. So I'm going to bring down this line. I'll bring it down. When I get to this point, I'll come in and meet this point. So here's the knee circumference divided by two. And then when I stop here and I draw the slant line down to this place, when I stop here, then I'll go ahead and make another slant line down to this to the end of the pants. So I'll go ahead and cut the side of the pants. Then you take one inch for the front panel. So you draw a slant line down to this place. So 
So I've dropped the waist measurements or the waistline by one inch. So next you cut the first two layers, which is the front panel. So you go ahead and cut it like so. So this is what you have for the back panel i'll add one and a half inch one and a half inches i just extend it to the crouch line and then take one inch on this side And then extend it to the bottom of the pants so i added one and a half here and then added one inch on this side and then i'll cut With the right sides facing each other, you go ahead and sew from here down to this place and from here down to this place. Next, you go ahead and sew the sides of the pants. So you're sewing from the top to the bottom and do the same on the other side. You go ahead and pin the crouch together. So you're pinning the front and the back crouch together. And then you're sewing from one end to the other end so we're sewing the inner tie and then you flip your pants inside out for the waistband i've cut a piece on fold so i have six and a half inches for the width and then 16 inches 16 and a half inch for the length and then i i'm using my waist measurement minus three inches so it's 35 inches for the waist and then i remove three inches so i have 32 inches and then I added half inch for seam allowance. And then you go ahead and sew it together with the right sides facing each other. Flip it inside out. So you make sure the, the two points are together. And then after folding, I'll notch the midpoint. And then I'll fold it again, like so. And then you notch this part too. And then you go ahead and pin the joint part of your waistband. You pin it to the back side on the joint part of the pants too. You pin the joint side of the waistband on the back side of the pants. And then you pin your center notched point on the front line of the pants. And then for the other notch line, you pin them to the sides of the pants. Go ahead and sew the waistband to the pants and then you stretch your waistband a bit when you're sewing after fixing the waistband you go ahead and hem the bottom of your pants and that's it please like and share this video and please subscribe to my channel if you have not i love you for watching thank you